Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 14 on the night that he was betrayed. He said this. He said, I'm going to my Father, guys. You've got to prepare for life without me here physically. But because I go to my Father, I'm going to send to you someone that's going to guide you. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you into greater things than you even saw me accomplish. You see, the greater life that God has planned for his followers, it's not built on a formula. It's built on a promise. A promise that he wants to do things greater than you can even do and imagine in your own strength and ability. You see, in 2 Kings, the prophet Elisha is living that kind of life. He's burned his plows. He's followed God. He's seen God work on his behalf. And now God is using him in greater ways. King Aram has decided to attack Israel with an enormous army. But he's got a problem. Israel seems to know his every move. Why is that? Because God is speaking to the prophet Elisha and he is sharing that with the king of Israel. The king of Aram is tired of it and he wants to put an end to it. So he sends an army, a raiding party, to go and defeat Elisha, one that is overwhelming. The servant that is with Elisha, the, the, the one that is walking with him, one that is learning from him, the one that is there helping him, wakes up in one morning and he looks out the window and sees an army surrounding them. Overwhelmed with fear, I'm sure overwhelmed with doubt and uncertainty, he rushes to his, his master's side and he says, Sir, there's an army here ready to attack us, ready to take us hostage, ready to defeat us. Elisha, not afraid, not overwhelmed with doubt, not uncertain in any way, looks at him and says, go look again. And in that he prays and says, God, open his eyes that he may see. When he goes back to the window, he doesn't see an, an enemy that is ready to attack them. Instead, he sees them surrounded by an angelic host, by an army of of horses and chariots of fire that are ready to protect them at a moment's notice. You see, in this journey, this journey with God as a believer and follower of Jesus, in order for you and I to experience the greater things, we've got to pray and ask the Lord to open our eyes so that we can see. So today, in this life, filled many times with fear and doubt and uncertainty. Ask God to open your eyes so that you can see His army working on your behalf, so that you can experience the greater things that He has in store for your life. Let's pray. God, today we ask in Your mighty name and in Your mighty power that the people that are overwhelmed today, that are burdened today, that are shackled today with fear, with doubt, with uncertainty, that instead of seeing their problem, they would pray for you to open their eyes so that they can see you, so that they can go back to the window and look again and not see an enemy surrounding them, but to see an angelic host ready to fight for them. Father, your word tells us if you are for us, who can be against us? We believe that today. We trust that today. And we ask you, Father, to open our eyes so that we can see. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I want to take a moment and invite you to come and visit the church at Southside at 9 or 11 on Sunday morning. We have a great time and would love to have you join us. Mm -hmm.